in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a opportunity slide in powerpoint as you can see here i have created one door here and when i click it will show you a kind of a way which is going towards this door and one businessman is walking towards it and when i click it will show me a different option option one with the icon and you can add the detailed text then comes the second option third option and fourth option and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this qr code and you can support my channel through patreon or paypal so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle and shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give any dark color here then go to insert shapes select rectangle again and this time draw the rectangle shape outline no outline shape fill you can give some light color and then send this to back let me just move it a little bit down then i'm going to view enable the guides then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i can choose either the frame or i can just choose the rectangle again rectangle again draw a small rectangle which looks like a kind of a door shape outline i'm going to make it red shape fill make it no fill and the weight i'm going to increase it all right then i'm going to add the door for that go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the trapezoid draw the trapezoid and rotate i'm going to rotate left 90 degrees shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to make it somewhat dark color and then put it here if you want you can just reduce the size and you can drag the orange point to align with the door once this is done go to insert shapes again i'm going to choose the trapezoid draw a trapezoid something like this here and I can just increase the size and make sure that it should be in the center, aligned center. All right, like this. And then you can see the small orange point, just drag this inside and I can increase the size like this and then I'm, I want like this, all right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the outlines. I'm going to fill this with white color and then I'm going to edit this shape. So right mouse click edit point you can see this one two three four points the first bottom uh, left point just drag it like this and here also drag this inside so we end up getting a shape like this again if you want you can just increase it further like this here all right and then i can just bend it further now i'm not going to do this side and uh, this area i'm going to cut it okay for that go to insert shape select the rectangle draw the rectangle okay by selecting the right side of the trapezoid then i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key select the rectangle merge shape and subtract and shape outline make sure it's no outline now i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and then rotate it flip horizontal and then just put it here like this all right you can see here we end up getting a shape like this let me just remove the guides and make sure that sometimes what happened when you make it will be a line like this so make sure that there is no line visible in the center all right then go to insert shapes i'm going to add one uh, triangle as an arrowhead so just draw a small triangle at the top and shape outline no outline shape fill and make it white so you can see here we end up getting a shape like this so now i'm going to select these three shapes and press ctrl g to group it so it becomes one shape like this so once this is done what next you can do is you can add some options here so go to insert shapes select the oval shape hold the shift key so it get a perfect circle shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give any light color and four i'm going to add the 
circles you can see here two on the left and two on the right then go to insert icons you can just choose any icon of your choice so i'm just randomly i'm just selecting some four icons click insert and i'm going to reduce the size 2.6 and graphic fill i'm going to make it dark the same color here the teal color and then let me just put it here this will come here this will be here and then this will be here all right just make sure that it is properly aligned and once this is done before that you can select and group it hold the shift key and group it select this one hold the select this one and group it one by one you can group it then go to insert text box you can add title 01 center align make it bold font size make it white and then you can add some detailed text at the bottom add detail text here again this also center align white font reduce the size and put it at the bottom and for this also i'm going to group it Control G and select this one hold the control shift key and drag it and now I'm going to select both and hold the control shift key and drag it all right now this one I'm going to make this as 0 4 this is 0 3 this is 0 2 and this is one all right now uh, this one you can search on the internet any good image i've just select this image let me just select this image and i can paste it here or you can just go to insert icons and you can just choose any different icon here so depending on your requirement you can just choose any icon of your choice so maybe i'm just going to choose a normal icon here so you can see here maybe i'm just going to choose this icon or i can choose this icon as well click insert and i can just put it here right mouse click go to the format graphics under effects shadows i can just choose any shadow effect here which i'm going to choose like this you can reduce the transparency effect so you can see here we end up getting a design like this and again if you want to add some uh, kind of uh, uh, clouds or some kind of bright light you can add it for example go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rectangle let me just zoom out and i'm going to add one shape like this shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to make it white and go to the effects soft adjust increase the size okay and then send this to back okay you can see here control z and you can just add some kind of light like this if you want you can just reduce the width of this all right and similarly you can add some cloud effect and whatever so once this is done it's time for the animation so let me just close this one go to the animations enable the animation pane first of all i'm going to select this one and i'm going to give a wipe effect so it comes something like this and then this should come fly in it should happen after previous and then this animation should come so first i'm selecting this one add animation more entrance effects i'm going to use peek in click ok and for this i'm going to use the animation which is the stretch click ok and then make it from top all right and this should happen with previous okay so if i play it comes like this so now i can just simply select this one click on animation painter so click on the second option now i'll select this one animation painter like this so one by one you need to just select the animation from the previous object and paste it here so you can see here i can just do it so if i do a slideshow 
it comes like this 